OK, I've been meaning to do this for a while because I often get questions about the microscope that I show in my videos. Now, I didn't go through any particularly special process of selecting this. I literally bought this off eBay. And unfortunately, the listing that I bought that through is no longer present. Although if you search on the usual kind of budget supplier suspects like AliExpress, eBay or Amazon, you'll usually find a microscope that looks just like this. And I've got no reason to suspect it's not directly equivalent. Now, one of the reasons why I really like this microscope for the work I do is it's got a very low profile inside the visual field of view. So the stand allows me to turn here. You can physically remove this part. And you've also got a much smoother point here for raising and lowering the stand. There's a focus up here. And as you've all seen in my videos, it does give a pretty good view. Now, you don't have to move it very far before it's out of focus and you have to manually readjust it. It does have some lights you can turn on, but I do find that they're not very effective. They tend to just increase the degree to which it gets washed out. Predominantly, but I suspect that's because these PCBs have a lot of quite reflective componentry on them. I can zoom pretty far down onto these. The sensor's pretty good. It can be quite hungry for light, but I find it better to use a light off to one side rather than the one built into it to get a decent amount of illumination. The sensor on here will allow me to go to 1600 by 1200, although I tend to run it in 800 by 600 because you get a slightly better update rate via the USB, and I don't really need a resolution higher than that. Most of the time, CCD sensors are not brilliant at their maximum resolution because of the way the color gets interpolated, and I'm really just interested in using this for part examination and for catching the insert feed for soldering. And being able to directly capture off USB like that is actually really good for me because I've got it on a little screen in front of me, but I can also capture the feed because that allows me to add it as an insert in a way I think most people quite like. OK, so I can't provide a link to where I bought this, but as I say, there's identical looking devices commonly available. So I'm going to create a pinned comment on this video with a link to somewhere that I can find selling a scope like this. And if it ever stops being available, maybe somebody poke me and I'll go looking for another one and update the pinned comment. Okay, hope this is useful. Bye.